Hey guys welcome today we are going to see node MCU access point based LED switching. Required components 1. Node MCU 2 LED 2. 100 ohm resistor and few wires. Now let's make the connection. Connect the node MCU to breadboard. I have programmed GPIO6 and GPIO7 for the LED output. So connect the wires to the same GPIO pins. And I made common cathode circuit. Connect ground pin to the anode of the LED pins. The sketch starts by including ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h library. This library provides ESP8266 specific Wi-Fi methods we are calling to connect to network. Following that we also include the ESP8266 webserver.h library which has some methods available that will help us setting up a server and handle incoming HTTP requests. As we are setting the ESP8266 node MCU in access point mode, it will create a Wi-Fi network. Hence, we need to set its SSID, password, IP address, IP subnet mask and IP gateway. I assigned the SSID name as node MCU and password as 12345678 Next, we declare an object of ESP8266 web server library so we can access its functions. The constructor of this object takes port as a parameter. Since 80 is the default port for HTTP, we will use this value. Next, we declare the node MCU GPIO pins to which LEDs are connected and their initial state. Inside setup function, we configure our HTTP server before actually running it. First of all, we open a serial connection for debugging purpose and set GPIO ports to output. Then, we set up a soft access point to establish a Wi-Fi network by proving SSID, password, IP address, IP subnet mask and IP gateway. In order to handle incoming HTTP requests, we need to specify which code to execute when a particular URL is hit. To do so, we use on method. This method takes two parameters. First one is a URL path and second one is the name of function which we want to execute when that URL is hit. For example, the first line of below code snippet indicates that when a server receives an HTTP request on the root, followed by backslash path, it will trigger the handle underscore on connect function. Likewise, we need to specify four more URL to handle two states of two LED. We haven't specified what the server should do if the client requests any URL other than specified with server.on. It should respond with an HTTP status 404, not found, and a message for the user. Now, to start our server, we call the begin method on inside loop function. To handle the actual incoming HTTP requests, we need to call the handle client method on the server object. We also change the state of lead as per the request. Next, we need to create a function we attached to root URL with server.on. Remember, at the start of this function, we set the status of both the LED to low initial state of LED and print it on serial monitor. In order to respond to the HTTP request, we use the send method. Although the method can be called with a different set of arguments. In our case, we are sending the code 200 which corresponds to the OK response. Likewise, we need to create 4 functions to handle LED on off requests and 404 error page.
displaying the HTML web page. Send HTML function is responsible for generating a web page whenever the ESP8266 web server gets a request from a web client. The function takes status of LED as a parameter to dynamically generate the HTML content. The first text you should always send is the doc type, declaration that indicates that we are sending HTML code. Next, the meta, viewport element makes the web page responsive in any web browser, while title tag sets the title of the page. Styling the web page. Next, we have some CSS to style the buttons and the web page appearance. We choose the Helvetica font, define the content to be displayed as an inline block and aligned at the scent. Following code then sets color, font and margin around the body, h1, h3 and p tags. Some styling is applied to the buttons as well with properties like color, size, margin, extra. The on and off button has different background color. Setting the web page heading. Next, heading of the web page is set. You can change this text to anything that suits your application. Displaying the buttons and corresponding state. To dynamically generate the buttons and lead status, we use if statement. So, depending upon the status of the GPIO pins, on or off button is displayed. Before compiling, go to Tools, Boards, and select Node MCU 1.0. Connect the USB cable to the Node MCU. Now select COM port by Tools, Port, and My COM port is 6. After that, compile the code. Now compiling is completed. Let's load the code to node MCU now. Below you can see the percentage of code is been loaded into the controller. Please turn off your mobile phone data, if it's on. After connecting to your node MCU access point, you can see the access point SSID name of your device as node MCU as you have mentioned in the program. Select the SSID and give the password as provided in the code. As 12345678 and 9. After providing the details click on connect. Now the device is been connected to the node MCU access point. After connecting to your node MCU access point network, load up a browser and point it to 192.168.1.1 The node MCU should serve up a web page showing current status of LED and do buttons to control them. If take a look at the serial monitor at the same time, you can see status of node MCU GPIO pins. Now, click the button to turn LED on while keeping an eye on the URL. Once you click the button, the ESP8266 receives a request for LED on URL. It then turns the LED on and serves a web page with status of LED updated. It also prints the status of GPIO pin on the serial monitor. Kindly subscribe and support us. Hit the like button if you like the video.